This is the story of our breakfast nook and how we bought our fixer upper home in 2020 and took this basic kitchen and turned it into this. It started out with this really cool diner's table and then these chairs from Marketplace. Does anybody else get a kitchen table that's super cool? So you decide you're gonna have a breakfast nook. You need to do the windows, the walls are wrong color. I used all Dixie Belle Paint Company products. First I cleaned with white lightning, then I filled the spots with Dixie Mud, then I sanded the back, then I chose Silk All-in-One Mineral Paint in the color White Cap for the walls. Our home came with all of the windows, duct taped up and had weather stripping all around them so I had to rip that up. I could not get this tape off no matter what I tried so I ended up using a wire brush which still didn't help that much. So I settled on this little chisel that ended up scraping back that top layer of wood which worked out really well. I used Dixie Mud to fill in any cracks and holes which there were many and then I sanded it back with a rad pad when I was finished. What a difference that natural wood makes when it's revealed. And then instead of staining, I decided to go with this really beautiful color called Umber in the Silk Mineral Paint line. It's kind of a super, super dark chocolatey brown, which I really loved the look of. I really prefer the coverage I get when I use a brush for my first coat and then I roll the second coat. Oak trim against white. I can do redo that too. I chose to freshen up my trim and make it a little darker using Big Mama's Butta in flannel and the No Pain Gel Stain in Colonial Black. Just putting a light layer over it and then wiping it back really richened up that wood and kind of let those scratches and indentions become more intentional. And it popped with the white wall. I know what you're thinking and we will be eventually refinishing these floors, but for now I wanted to at least richen them up with some hemp oil, recondition them and protect them. So I hung the hooks from my curtain rod and then I was ready for bed. I found this super pretty tablecloth at an estate sale and I simply cut it straight down the middle to make two curtains that I could hang and give a very bistro vibe to our breakfast nook. There's no sewing here. I left the rough edge and I just clipped them to create a faux pleat. I finished the look with some pieces from the golden years and voila. I hope you loved it. Subscribe.